what's up, what's up? My name is Jalen R. Smith. I am here at Mississippi Valley State University, the educational oasis of the Delta. And I have been telling my adventures here at the Valley, my good times, my bad times. I've been living it up and I've been having challenges, of course. This is my third video, so I'm trying to stay consistent to what I said. I was gonna do and be a young lady of my word mm -hmm. anyway um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was my first college party <laughs> it was crazy um, <laughs> it started at 12 10 started at 10 and it went to 2 I got there at 10 30 and I left at 1 and let me just go by saying, whew, um, it was really lame at first. Um, they were playing music I didn't know. I couldn't even dance. I'm just like, so I'm here. Mm. But then, you know, as more people came over, you know, the Greeks started stepping. And no, they strolled. Somebody told me that they were strolling and they got on to me about that. So I'm going to be better. I'm going to be better by saying that they were strolling. And it was a lot of dancing. I had so much fun. But there were things, like all college parties, that you have to be aware of. One thing that I was always checking at the party was, so it was outside in front of the student union. I do not like to be closed in where I cannot escape if something happens. So I am constantly looking behind me thinking, okay, Jalen, Jalen, Jalen to Jalen. If something happens, where are you going to go? How are you going to escape? How are you going to run? Um, so I'm constantly, you know, looking for ways, you know, keeping keeping my safety in mind at all times. There was alcohol. There was a lot of alcohol. Um, I do not drink. I do not smoke. Um, there was a lot of alcohol. You could smell it. it was alcohol. Um, there were people who had cups and people who had bottles. I would not advise drinking from either one. Uh, if you do decide to drink, then you know just be safe with it. Weed smoking was a, a big thing there too. Uh, some people had like black miles. Some people had you know. I mean, it's not just here at Valley State. It's everywhere. Um, just be careful. You know, I feel like I would not be telling the truth if I seemed out. You know, like if I take out. All of the parts of my experience that are like real life so yes there was weed there there were black and miles there there were drinks there um so you just have to be careful with that one thing I saw like people were putting it on their mouth I didn't I didn't know that puff puff pass actually meant like I'm gonna put it on my mouth and give it to the person next to me I'm too germaphobic for that so I'm good on that I'm good on that and it just like it really taught me that everything my mama has told me through high school and I'm like, okay, mom oh, I hit myself in the eye. Okay, mom, I get it. I guess that's what I get from mocking her. Um, everything is true. Like, there's going to be temptation everywhere. There are gonna be, you know, drinks were everywhere. Um, weed was everywhere, you know. Um, but they did. I will give it to Mississippi Valley State University. When campus police arrived to um to observe the party, I think I spit, and make sure we were all safe. All of the things that were not supposed to be there were removed, if you get my drift. So yes, um, big ups to campus police at Mississippi Valley State University for doing your job. We appreciate you if you're watching this video. Even if you're not watching this video, we still appreciate you. Um, but yeah, it was the Greeks, something else. They're cool. I actually am going to play some videos at the end of the party. Um, I'm going to try to edit them to make sure they're as fr <laughs> as friendly as possible. Um, I'm working. It's, it takes a lot of time to edit. But I am going to do that because I want you guys to see what I have been seeing. But I also want to keep it somewhat clean. Um, my first weeks, my first two weeks of school have been absolutely positively 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 I like positively better amazing um, I love 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 going to class every day 
so i take on monday wednesday and friday i take composition two and i take comprehensive health and i love those classes classes because they are awesome i take on tuesday and thursday i take Fundamentals of public speaking. Ooh, let me do that again. <laughs> Fundamentals of public speaking and what do I take? Fundamentals of public speaking. I take social psychology and I take music appreciation. I love public speaking, of course. Um, that's just that's me. That's who Jalen Smith is. I take music appreciation, which I really enjoy the class. Like, I wouldn't major in music, but for what it's worth, I really enjoy the class and I really enjoy the professor. I'm learning a lot. I learned the five parts of Mass, the Kyrie, the Gloria, the Credo, the Sanctus, and the Agnus Dei. So yes, learning does go on at Mississippi Valley State University. And social psychology is so amazing how... Um, you put terms or like actual definitions and theories to the things that we do every day, which is so amazing, which is all social psychology is about. It's about how we as individuals act, think and respond and behave to social influences. So I just, it's like I'm, I'm interpreting people and I love doing that. So I'm enjoying that class, of course. On Thursdays, I take freshman seminar, which is really cool because it's it's a class, but it's more like a how you're feeling type of class. And um, I think that's so necessary in um, like being a freshman to actually get out how I'm feeling, how I'm feeling about the university, how I'm feeling about my classes, how I'm feeling about my peers, how I'm feeling about homework, you know. So I'm I'm really enjoying that class as well. What else do I want to talk about? Um, I want to say big ups to the... I, I've always... So, I've always been nice to janitors, right? Um, I've always, you know, spoken to them. I've always spoken to them. I've always asked, you know, how you're doing? How, how are you doing? How's your day? And the bathrooms here are bathrooms um they they have their challenges indeed and some challenges are more than i can i can embrace some of those challenges are they're they're too they're just challenges right and so for the janitor to the custodian to come and fix those challenges I want to say thank you so much. I tell her, you know, thank you for cleaning up behind us. Um, good morning. You know, the simple things. How are you doing today? Because you know, that's that's not an easy job. It is not. Um, it's a very giving job. It can be stressful at times because bathrooms have challenges. Um, but I just want to say thank you to those people i have been spending all of my money at mondo's mondo's is the restaurant inside the student union and sandwiches but i don't even get the sandwiches i used to get the chicken wraps but then i got introduced into the chicken wings four chicken wings for like six dollars maybe seven and i'm not even a chicken wing type of girl i'm a breast and a thigh type of girl i take that very seriously i'm a big chicken type of girl but those wings are bomb. I don't mind spending that money. And the fries are great. I spend it on my <coughs> book voucher. <coughs> but, um, you know, it's it's there. So, yeah. Um, I have made a ton of friends. Friends that I can tell are going to, you know, be vital in the me that is developing. And they're they're so awesome they i don't know i don't think they know how much they make me happy to see their faces um to make me laugh for me to make them laugh so let me tell you about this i joined two things already i joined a um it's like a bible study thing it's called 
Wesley. I think it's Wesley. Wesley Foundation. It's like a Bible study thing. Um, it's it's really for like college students to go through challenges of college and go through college experiences um, with like a religious uh, vibe. So it's like non-denominational, just spreading the love of God and talking about our challenges as college students and just being, you know, just being awesome and spreading joy and cheering people up and I love that so much and that <clears throat> I don't I don't mean that you know to just brag but there's a song coming out from uh, Mississippi Valley State University's Wesley Foundation organization and I will be featured on the song doing a rap rendition um, I don't know if that's the right word but I will be rapping on the song so yeah I'm a little famous. I'm also on the Valley video. The last 10 seconds on the new video they just posted. I'm there. That's me. I end the video. So I'm really happy about that. The second organization that I, I don't know if it's an organization or not, but the second thing that I attended or that I'm going to go to regularly is the Freehand Creative Writing Club. And Anybody who knows me knows that writing and like poetry and telling stories and all of that, that's, that's, that's my existence. So I went there not knowing what to expect and the, the people there, like, wow, how can you, how can you use words like that to construct words like that? to have so much meaning and that's a part of who I am and it's so amazing to find people like me a poet like me or a writer like me or an artist like me or a songstress like me so that's definitely something I will be going back to I'm trying to see if I faced any major challenges mm, not really I did feel myself going back into my old habits. So I'm um, I'm a procrastinator, very much so. And I felt myself procrastinating on something. And so for that day, I did procrastinate. And it wasn't, it's not like it's due the next day, but I know that I have the ability and the time to do it, but I've just been enjoying myself. So I was procrastinating, but I made sure that I got it um, I had to read two articles and last night you know I watched a scary movie with my friends but at the end of the day I have to make sure my work is done so yeah I stayed up to like one o'clock reading those articles it was two articles one about it was for my social psychology class and one of the articles was about um, how positive thinking drains your energy which is very it's it's a new york times article i'm not going to run it for you i just advise you to go read it because it, it really makes you think so i'll give you an example of people who think positively all the time or they have goals and they're so positive about reaching their goals that they don't consider the challenges or the obstacles that they're going to face so thinking positively all the time drains your energy and it makes you not want to accomplish those goals whereas if you think realistically and know um, how to operationalize what you want into specific steps it's easier to um, reach what you want so that's what I learned and then there was an article about Monica Lewinsky and it was just talking about how she went through cyberbullying and just media bullying and um, it really because I mean I, I had heard about Monica Lewinsky but I never just took the time to actually read it for myself I only knew what people had told me and that's an important thing too especially in college learn for yourself because once you know something nothing or no one can change that can change your opinion of i mean people can they can impact your opinion but if you know something for a fact then nothing's really going to change it 
so you know remember what you were taught in high school but also learn to learn for yourself read for yourself you know so i i read about her and i mean yeah it um it it taught me a lot about just how we as humans judge people based off what we create them to be or the situations that we make up in our heads that they are instead of accepting them for what they really are so yeah but i'ma let y'all go i have really i think this is the longest video it's like 15 minutes i have really 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 been enjoying myself here at valley i had i known that i would have this much fun and i would learn this much in such a few like such a short span of time there would not have been another option for me i would have declared mississippi valley state university a long time ago but i am i am honored to be here i'm so blessed that that made that i made the right choice to be here it's, it's really got my heart it does it does and it's not saying that it's perfect because it's not no school is no university college or what have you is perfect but it is perfect for me and i feel that if i want my university to be better if i want my school to be better then i have to be the change that i want to see i have to be the progress that i want to, to see to make it better so no i will not down talk my school i will not publicly shame it i'm going to do whatever i can in my power to make it better because it's a reflection of me and i'm a reflection of it and i look to look good so um this has been my video my name is jalen r smith here at mississippi valley state university the educational oasis of the delta have a nice life enjoy college first college party and I have never been so tired in my life I went to the party at 10 40 I came in at 110 I am exhausted beyond repair I will never give my energy back not this semester there are people who went to the party at 10 and they're still partying now at two. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can't do it. I'm so tired I can't go to sleep. Oh no. I can't do that. It was fun though. It was fun. It was fun. It was really fun. But I'm tired. And it's Friday. Hopefully I'll wake up Monday and have enough energy.